Hello traders, hope you're doing well. I'm sure each and every one of you are eagerly waiting for our market to open tomorrow because today we have an important event. Fed chairman is going to speak. We will get to know what is the rate cut decision. Is it going to be 0.25% or 0.5% or what in case the Fed doesn't cut interest rate at all. All of these possibilities are there. So in detail, I thought of discussing about this with you. That is why I'm recording this video. Today, I did not come live because I personally, I was stuck in my trade. What kind of trading setup I took today, I'm going to explain to you now and what was the logic behind the trade because many people when market was moving towards the upside, why did I take put option trade that I will explain after looking into that we are going to discuss about what are the possibilities of tomorrow's market. What are the key important factors that we need to take into consideration before we plan for any kind of trade in tomorrow's market. Everything we will discuss. Now first let's discuss about today's market trade. As soon as the market opened, we had discussed about important resistance and support level both for Nifty and Bank Nifty. When Nifty came to the support area, I said this trend line is a good support, put option trade post trend line breakdown. While sharing this update also, I've clearly said expect volatility today, market is at support and support has been tested many times. Avoid put option trade till the support level is broken and market goes down and the move continues. So could we avoid it taking put option trade? Market quickly moved towards the upside. And while speaking about Bank Nifty, this was the update. Now this resistance level, this was tested many times, right? At this resistance, what will be there? Put option traders stop loss. So I said, this level has been tested many times. Expect stop loss hunting. To hunt the stop loss, market can move towards the upside. So I've clearly mentioned up move. Data point of day in Bank Nifty, I had asked people to mark this level. When Bank Nifty reached this resistance level, I said resistance level reached. Now option sellers are at 52,500 level. But since the market has reached our resistance, people who have entered ensure you book your profit or at least tell your stop loss as much as possible. So this was around 150 point move from the time we had share the update nifty reached this resistance i said nifty is near resistance avoid call option trade and that is when during this reversal i planned my trade now what was the logic behind taking put option trade when the market is moving towards the upside when especially bank nifty is moving towards the upside more than price action more than stop loss hunting today since everybody is waiting for the rate cut update based on that particular news i decided to plan my trade today see if rate cut of 0.25 or 0.5 percent comes for whom is it more beneficial is it for nifty or bank nifty definitely it is for bank nifty the main reason for this is if the rate cut happens more people will start depositing money in the bank they will get more interest bank can lend money in lower interest rate this is beneficial for companies who's taking loan or people who are taking loan also if loan is give a, given for less amount, then what would happen? People might start buying products, let it be car, bike, anything. So when if people take loan, that is good for banks, right? So with all those logic, I avoided taking trade in bank Nifty on the put option side. Rather, I decided to take put option trade in Nifty. When Nifty came to this area, I clearly informed that those who have entered put out of the money also will be in good profit please expect some volatility in the market. But my view about the market was very clear where I said I'm still in put option trade since my expectation is Nifty will go below 25,300 level. I have taken OTM today with less quantity. This quick up move in the market has not yet created issue. But one more spike in the market will definitely create issue. The way how I traded in the market today was completely different. Usually we take at the money or in the money strike price so that we can achieve our target quicker. But here, if I take in the money strike price, since Bank Nifty is moving towards the upside, in Nifty, it will be difficult. Even if Nifty supports Bank Nifty, little momentum towards the upside, I would have already reached my loss limit. That is why if I take out of the money, the amount which I'm going to risk today would be less, right? My expectation is Nifty will move towards the downside and reach 25,300. If I had taken at the money at this range, definitely I would have booked my loss and exited to avoid that. I decided to take out of the money. Definitely if one more spike had come in the market, I would have booked my loss. But thankfully what happened, market moved as direction. Time to time I have shared all the update in the private telegram group. I was really happy to see close to 60% did profit today. And once I said I have exited the market, you can see what time I entered and exited. 25,300 target was achieved. This is what we were expecting. Later point of day, markets perfectly respected our support after our exit. It started to move towards the 
upside. I was expecting the movement more quicker because of Bank Nifty we got into a bit of trouble after waiting for so long finally the target was achieved i know some of you were worried about the setup but the plan was to take out of the money reduce the risk in that kind of way so that we can hold on to the trade bank nifty today is expiry if i had taken the trade for me it would have been difficult i cannot wait for long compared to nifty nifty expires tomorrow so to a certain extent most of the things went as per our favor even though there was a bit of trouble in between so this is what happened in market today let's quickly discuss about what kind of trading setup we have for tomorrow now traders there are three things which can happen in tomorrow's market first fed as expected it has cut the rate by 0.25 percent now this is something each and every one of us know we were 99 percent sure that fed is going to cut the rate in the month of september so with that expectation itself frequently now our market started to move towards the upside every retail trader everybody is speaking about this this means we need to understand that this good news in the market was not all of a sudden market has already factored in this news that is the first thing that we need to understand if that is the case what would happen market can open with a gap up but quickly it can start correcting and stay sideways because market already people have factored in this information this rate cut news can be a non-event but what if the rate cut happens by 0.5% this is very good for the market so in this kind of situation we can expect our market to be bullish but the area where we need to be bullish at is above 25,400 level you see market continuously it was taking support here right it has given a breakdown and now it has gone for a retest this was the supporting area where we have marked from where market recovered after we exited as long as market stays above this area expectation is it can tend to stay sideways if the rate cut is 0.25 percent but if it is 0.5 percent then the chances of market continuing the trend is high because retail traders will participate as of now 0.5 rate cut there is just 50 percent or 60 percent chance if this is the rate cut which is going to come everybody who feared and squared off their position during the market closing hours they will start identifying important levels for the day and they might start thinking of re-entering the market now the third possibility what if there is no rate cut at all they have to factor in that also when everybody is expecting a rate cut what if fed chairman says there is no rate cut this time because retail sales data everything is looking fine we were worried that recession is going to happen but as of now everything is looking smooth so we will wait for one more month if this happens what will happen it is a negative news in the market that is why we have marked 25,300 psychological level if market goes below this wherever we are getting a lower high lower low setup with small stop loss we can look for put option trade now one of the main thing what many people don't speak about is yen carry forward trade while in us people are deciding to cut interest rate when japan said they are going to increase their interest rate by 0.25 percent this created problem for a lot of people in us already interest rate is high in japan interest rate was zero people used to take loan in japan and what it did into dollars and they used to invest but when the interest rate from zero went to 0.25 percent many people decided to take out the money and then pay back the loan what they have taken so japanese market also has a direct impact in our market but that impact might not be seen tomorrow tomorrow if 0.25 basis points if they cut market can just hold on to this range but day after tomorrow in japan if they keep the interest rate as 0.25 percent that is okay but in case they increase it from 0.25 to 5 percent again it will create pressure people who do in carry trade they will be in trouble again they will start taking out money from indian market this will create negativity in the market because of which market can move towards the downside so today market has done all the things it want to do if 0.25 rate cut happens market can just stay within a range because this news is already factored in but if the rate cut is 0.5 percent then definitely we can expect an up move after attracting some option buyers here market can break this level but what if there is no rate cut then it is a negative news for the market so below this area we will be looking for lower high and lower low trading setup so in tomorrow's market our main goal is we need to understand all the possibilities let the market open based on where it opens how it reacts we will identify important resistance and support level and if we have any good trading opportunity we will try to capture that 
or else completely avoid trade. There is no problem if we miss any trade tomorrow. But the most important thing is Friday's market. In Japan, what they're going to speak based on that positive or negative news, how our market is going to react. That is something which I am more worried about. In Nifty, please mark 25,400 and 25,300 range. As long as market is just consolidating within this range, it is better that we avoid any kind of trade because there will be volatility and confusion. That too on an expiry day if you get stuck in this range with an expectation that market will move towards the upside because Fred has cut the rate by 0.25% you might get into trap. So carefully we will look into the opportunities when it is there we will plan our trade. Now I know I have just spoken about nifty and not bank nifty. There is a reason for this because tomorrow fresh expiry is starting that means premiums will be higher any wrong trade if we enter as soon as the market opens and if we get into trap we would be seeing bigger loss in nifty to a certain extent since tomorrow is expiry the premiums are a bit low because of which there is no too much risk involved however what i'm going to do is for bank nifty tomorrow morning we will be sharing important levels in our free telegram channel so please ensure that you follow us there the link for the telegram channel is shared in the description box below you can go and have a look. Now traders, if you found this video useful, then share your support by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. If you think this content will be useful for your friends, please share it with them. Now that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.